Okay, teams. Uh, let's use an example. You have a team in Ohio. Yes. You don't live in Ohio. You live in Toronto. You yes. frequent Ohio. You go there. How the heck did you build this team in Ohio? <laughs> okay. The process is almost same for any team, wherever you want to build. Okay. Almost same. Is so, so we go to Mr. Google. <laughs> right? And we say, Mr. Google, let us know which are the management companies are in Ohio. Let's say in certain areas. Property management. Property company. management company, right? So now we got 10, 15 names or whatever. So we told our assistant to call every each and every single company and so ask them if they can meet on certain dates or day with our owners. So for example, Renee and I are planning to go or there on Saturday and Sunday or whatever the day. So we already decided which day we're gonna go and we will start this process almost two weeks prior to do, doing this. So now she's going to call and set up these appointments. Now, out of 15, probably five will never pick up the phone anyway. So you left with yeah, 10, yeah. right? 10 out of 10, maybe two will say, well, I'm not available. We left with eight. I I'm just giving you example, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, the, and then you go there, you, we have certain questions to ask from people. Our number one question, do you have an office? Because we don't want to work with people who are working from basement. Okay. Right? And there are, so, <laughs> and there are people who are. Okay. And then second question is, are you licensed? Because if they're not licensed, you're in trouble. Yeah. Okay? So, so, so there's plenty of questions that we go with and we have the, a f format. And let's say we put the date, July, whatever, and this property management company, and this is the person who's meeting. So we have set up the time, okay, meet with at 12 o'clock at our hotel. We're not going to go there. Yeah. yeah. And also so. we try to do it on a weekend, Sunday. Okay. So see is, how hard they work. So uh, because a lot, a lot of yeah. uh, property managers or team, uh, even contractors too, they will say, oh, we don't work on Saturdays, Sundays, weekends. So then you know, will this person take care of my properties? Because if the property management is basically 24 seven kind of a job. Yeah. Yes, yeah. You, you, they have to have teams taking care. But if someone says they're not flexible, and they say, you know what, yeah. we, we don't work on weekends, then that's a red flag right there. If so we are we, putting our time over the weekend. Yeah. Why can't they? Yeah. Right? So that's actually, he made a very good point. This is one of the thing we talk, think about when we're working with people, how hard they can work with us. If I'm, when, when I went through my education and uh, there was a, uh, I was working with machines and everything while a diploma, my teacher used to tell me you need to clean before you leave. And then he'll come and he'll put his finger in a very small slot like this. See, you didn't clean it. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> so yeah. that mentality is, has grown. Mindset, I mean, you need yeah. to work really thorough and you are ready to work anytime, any yeah. day, anything. So he made a very good point. So we set up these appointments specifically on Sundays. Okay. Not even Saturday. Sometimes Saturday, sometimes Sunday. Now, out of those people, a few people will not show up. Wow. They won't show up. They won't, they show won't up. call. They won't even email you, text you, nothing. They won't just show up, period. And so they're automatically gone. Yeah. They're, they're gone because if they don't show up and they don't have the courtesy to even inform you, yeah. then there are a few, they will e they'll email you or send you a message that, sorry, I can't come due to whatever whatever reason, but that's fine. So that's round one. Sometimes you end up, when you start with 20, then you end up with two, right? Yeah, we, two. It, it happened to us. And it the, started with 20, end up with two. Yeah. And that's one round. So we do this couple of rounds. So that's one round we meet with them. We, like you said, you were testing us yeah. in the beginning. We have to do that. And uh, with God's grace, I'm very good at that too. Yeah. So, which is a good thing. So it's a good thing in business. It's yeah. a great thing. To be able thing. to read people yeah. well, yeah. We read, uh, so basically he'll be asking questions, I'll be reading, so we get to that. And then if they qualify, if we feel that we have the synergy, we have, we feel that they have the integrity. And the, the reason is because our investors, clients are giving their hard end money, their savings. Just like the check we showed you, yeah. these people's life savings is there because they took money out from the house, yeah. their home, equity line. So we have to, that's why we tell, uh, I tell my wife, he tells his wife, say, you know what, uh, ladies, you know, we have to do this because so, a lot of people are relying on us. So question, so so you have these meetings, you're looking for, but this property manager is technically, their, they're their own boss, right? They have their own company. Yeah. So how does that, do they then- Now we are coming, we are coming to that okay, point. Okay, got it. So now the first round is done and they said, 
we are this, we are that, whatever they can say. Yeah. We'll just write those things. Right? So then we'll say, okay. So next round is, so will you be available tomorrow in your office at two o'clock? Okay. So we'll ask them. So now they have said they have office. Oh, now they have said, so, so we are coming to, uh, it's 15 minutes only, 10 minutes. We're just going to go drop by, hello, hi to you, see how your office is and we'll just leave. Nothing else. Mm. So now whatever they have claimed, now this is time to verify if they have really have the office, people. And, and you know, and <laughs> this has happened, you know, we have, because we do it. This is one sec second round. So we'll sometimes we show up, they're not there. It has happened. And sometimes the office doesn't, not, exist. So, doesn't exist there. Yeah. One uh, it's amazing guy, this guy, he talks so big and everything. And I told him, I said, something doesn't sit right yeah. with this guy. He said, okay. So we went there and his office was closed. And he said he has receptionist, his assistant, and he like- It was like a small office I had to just peek in. <laughs> and I said, like, what is this? <laughs> you, you know what I mean? <laughs> so this and and we don't tell the exact time we're gonna do. We're gonna say okay, we're gonna drop between this time. We give them a window. Yeah. yeah. Right. So that's important too. We just okay. so this is a few tests, and then so this is one test to get second run of that, and then obviously we go to see the properties they're managing, meeting, and we also have a meeting with their staff. Okay. So we also go back. So when you so when we say you're building a team. What you're looking for is in the real estate example, they're not necessarily working for you. They're not on your payroll, but yeah. they're an existing business. You're developing a relationship to then be able to trust them as if they were on your team. Plus, we sometimes add our own person to their team. Okay. So so this is our process of finding the first round. The core foundation. Core foundation. Okay. The business has already existed. They are already controlling the properties. And then when we go through this process, we let's say pick three. Uh, we don't pick only one. We pick three okay. to work with to get together, to, like all of them together. And everyone knows we are working with three. Okay. We are not hiding anything here. Yeah. Okay. And then we, we throw some little bombs. Um, and the bombs are, I mean, I'm sharing this, uh, but it's going to be very helpful. Yeah. Um, I'm going to uh, send you an email and say, uh, well, John, you told me that uh, uh, you will uh, send me this information by five o'clock this and I haven't received it yet. And I'm lying, basically. OK, now I want to see the reaction. The reaction could be, what are you talking about, Shazad? Are you drunk or something, you know, yeah. <laughs> or it could be, I, I think it's a mistake and maybe this is misunderstanding. Or even if I said so, I'm sorry, let me send you the information. Now, the two behaviors are totally yeah. different. So you yeah. want to see how they will react in different situations, yeah. because at the end, when things are good, everything is happy. Everyone is happy. Yeah. But when things are bad, how they're going to react in that situation. So this is kind of psychological test. And I, I love this. I want to pause you for a yeah. second because everyone who's watching or listening right now, think how you could deploy this in when you're looking for contractors, yes. right? You're out there interviewing different web designers, different uh, media buyers, all these, you, you could do the same Hey, even if it's virtual, hey, I can only meet on Sunday, yeah. right? And then you could ask them something else. Okay, can you show me some of your work? Yep. And you know, so you find ways to throw curveballs at them and see how they. And how we do it all the time. We yeah. do it with contractors. We do it people people who are working at Fiverr, and I we always go with three to five people together, mm -hmm. and then we see their reaction. They're working and all that, and we know who is going faster. So, I mean, typically Fiverr, I'll give them same logo to five different people yeah. and see what and different pricing anywhere from five bucks to 35 dollars or something and see the work first of all and their communication during that work and then i'll say no no i didn't like this i purposely i hate to do that but this is the only way i can see their mindset yeah. and some of them will say well i have already done three changes, uh, changes for you and some will say no problem we'll do it and the response is quick 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 but I don't accept this, okay, this could be um, uh, maybe, you know, sometimes people are in trouble, so I will give them benefit of doubt. I'll try to give them another job, mm. another job. So I will repeat the process three times. So yes, sometime you will, you had the emergency, so you couldn't reply to me within 24 hours or so, but what about the second time? Have what you about noticed the though, contractors seem to have the most emergencies in their all lives? The time, oh all the God. time, and all deaths. The uh, and uh, deaths, and that is, uh, internet yeah. outages, uh, child sicknesses. I, I swear, don't be a contractor. Your child will be cursed. 
Yeah. Children yeah. are always sick. Yeah. Always yeah. sick. Yeah. And I and just laugh about it. It's not a good thing. They do it. But, yeah, but, but you don't know. It's a. It's the uh, boy that cried wolf. You don't know now who yeah. to trust, when to trust. Yeah. It's sad sometimes. I'm going to be honest. At my own company, you know, <laughs> yeah. someone calls out sick. I'm like, they're not really sick. They're lying. Yeah. They went to a. They went to a ball game today. Like it's the initial gut reaction yeah. because so many people have abused it. Yeah, it's amazing. Um, I, okay, I love it. So you're, so, so yeah. yeah, you're putting them through a filtering process. Yeah. So the same thing we do with the contractors, like the handyman, mm -hmm. the plumbers, the electricians. We we build sets like not just one. We build like three to four backups or backups because okay. contractors is amazing. Some of them they will start off right with you, and and they will the pricing will be good, the job will be amazing, and everything. But then let's say you need to do same this you need to paint the same room and like patch up the drywall this and that and the price this house is amazing if you go second third fourth house the price sometimes doubles yeah see what yeah. you see what that and same guy unfortunately yeah. and yeah. within six eight months uh, uh period time yeah. spent so that's what we do with the contractors too we set up meetings with them and then we ask them what are you doing and if they are good they must be always working they must be doing jobs and everything so we go see what they are doing, yeah. how they're doing. We ask for references. That's very important because a few contractors we we got, they gave out re references gladly, thinking that we will not call them, uh. right? So, but we call them and one lady said, never deal with this guy again. Man, this guy is a crook. He said, she said, she took my money. He never finished the job. Yeah. So you don't want. I, it's amazing how many people don't call references. So I remember once I was hiring someone, very high level position, okay, VP for the company. And uh, he gave me a few references. I, we always call references, especially for that high of a position. Are you mm. kidding me? We we drill down. I do an hour long interview with the reference if I can. Mm. I, I call the reference for VPs. It's going to be me personally. So I call the reference. <laughs> There's a reason I call. I say, this is so and so I'm calling in regards to. I say the name. And I said, uh, he has your reference. First, th first response. Who? I said, oh, but we're going in a wrong direction already. And I said, so and so. Oh huh i'm surprised he has me as a reference oh my gosh okay why i haven't talked to him or worked with him in over 10 years wow so that's sad this person didn't yeah. have anyone better in the last 10 years you're applying for a vp position at he my should company. have even informed the person yeah. <laughs> so i uh yeah the person had no idea that's yeah. the best part i'm like oh my gosh you're applying for a six-figure job this person has no idea so nice. I started asking questions and the guy kept saying, listen, I, I really don't know. I, I never worked with him in that capacity. So he's applying wow. for a VP position. I, when he was here, he was assistant director. I, oh. you know, he didn't handle that kind of responsibility. Can I speak to that? Now it's illegal to give a bad reference to a past yeah. employee. It's actually illegal in the United States. You can get big trouble, but you can give honest, like, I don't know answers. Mm. This guy's old. It was the worst reference check ever, but it saved me so much pain and headache. Yeah. Just one phone call. Best 15 minutes yeah. of my yeah. life for that position. Yeah. So, um, so I love it. So you do these, you, you don't just ask questions in an interview. You test, oh, it, hit the field, it's, it's must. little little tests like that. And over time, you end up building people you trust. And then even for that, you said you build backups. Yes, so you have, you have, you have a, a backup or backup. So let me ask you this. Now, the key part of your real estate, and then we're going to switch over to Shopify, but the key part of your real estate business, I would say, contractors is fine, property management is fine. Although these are very important parts, obviously. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Finding. Finding. Finding real estate. Now, you don't live in Ohio, but you have a lot of deals in Ohio. You live in Toronto, so you must have someone on the ground over there finding properties for you. Huh? Yes. That's yes. the key person. That's like, oh, trust in that person because they mm -hmm. find something. You have to trust that they won't swipe it. You have to trust they won't sell it to somebody else. Mm -hmm. yes. So how do you find that person? Who's that? So do we have, like I said, not one, more than one. Uh -huh. sets because with time, we are, you build mm -hmm. connections, network. And so the question is that, you have to be worried about swiping the deals and not even the selling to somebody else for because it's at the end of the game they they need money right yeah whoever gives them more money they will sell to them yeah and so how you build the relationship trust is very important and and now we have been working together for almost a year so you have to create this trust in each other. But what kind of person is it? Is it is it the property managers? Are no. they bringing the deals to you? Or is there a certain type of person? So a, we call them bird dogs. Bird dogs. Okay, yes. I love yeah. that. So, so they are... They, but do, they, you go, do you go to Google and type in Ohio uh, bird dog? No. <laughs> this, <laughs> How do you find a bird dog? This one, you come through... Uh, through relations, connections. Okay. And uh, so the property uh, managers, I'm sure they you know, know some sometimes you see not it's, a lot. it's a contractors. No. Contractors sometimes bring because they go to work okay. and they're fixing the roof. 
Well, the owner said, well, I want to sell this home, man. I'm in trouble. And contacted callers, man. This guy right away, he'll call right? uh, So mm -hmm. these contactors are our eyes. I mean, really? <laughs> and sometimes they just go through the, to the street and see that one, one house has a big grass or something or shingled or off. They will just call us, you know, I think this house is in trouble. So mm -hmm. say, we'll say, okay, go and ask the guy. Yeah. I, I'm typing in Maryland bird dog. <laughs> I just want to see what comes <laughs> you up. Never know. <laughs> you never know. Might be well, we'll learn something if you. Yeah. <laughs> Retriever dog training yeah, permit. Okay. <laughs> I got Mason Dixon game outfitters. It's all dog training. <laughs> <laughs> training literally training like hunting dogs. That's what, it, that's what it is. Okay, so don't, do not go type in your city's name. In bird yeah, dog. Yes. So you, you find honey. So this is what it is. It happens. Okay. We have through connections. This through is con a complete relationship building. This is a relationship. Okay, so let's let's team building. You answered my question. <clears throat> I was hoping there was an. So if you have a done for you button on teams, I will buy. By the way, because it's the hardest part. It is. Well, I think you have the right team. You can build any business. And this is the reason not everyone is willing to do this work. Yeah, because it's it, this is a lot of work. And and, and Anik, we didn't mention this. We haven't bought a single property so far which Rene or I haven't seen personally, okay. number one. That's yeah. a number two, we haven't trusted 100% on our contractors and man management company. We randomly go there and check. And check. Mm -hmm. Even though it's been years, everything is good, but we don't want to leave something on 100% of them. Now, <clears throat> between property management and contractors and us, we have sometimes one or two people who are reporting to us. And they sometimes go randomly check and come back and all. So we have like made a total system where no, it's like a spy on a spy, a spy on a spy kind of thing. It's not a spy, it's protection of our investors' hard and money. Yeah, That's a big responsibility so, we have. So let's pivot. Let's talk about a different kind of team. Okay. So I'm going to actually say, let's go to round number five. And then this, we'll talk about two different things. We'll talk about Shopify and we'll talk about team building a little bit more because I'm really enjoying this. And I, and I want to summarize this last round. I want everyone to understand something. Everyone wants a good team, myself included. No one wants to put in the work it takes to get to a good team. Because first of all, just the hunting process, like you just said, it's intense. No wonder you are having great property manager companies because of the process you're going through to find one. Yeah. You're not just going and dealing with one, you're taking weeks of interviewing, interviewing and, 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 and testing. you know, testing yep. and, and you've got psychological tests going on yep. and all this stuff happening. And listen, if you want a good team, I think it's a great lesson learned. I think you need to be yes. willing to put that effort in. And so that was something I really want everyone to walk away with and understand that also the second piece, this is the hardest piece, is relationship building. Relationship yep. building needs time. Time is an entrepreneur's most valuable asset and it's stressful and it's pressure and you have to be a good people person. Yeah. But the more you do it, the more people like you, the more business they bring you because they just yes. choose to bring it to you. Right? Networking, network is your network, yeah, right? Yeah. We always talk about it. Very networking true. is the biggest thing you can do to your business. So let's go to round number five.